Welcome to Maddie's Kitchen. Today I'll be making y'all for Christmas, I'll be making y'all some fresh string beans. These are potatoes, they're called rose potatoes. And here's the ham hocks I'll be putting in it. I'll also be putting some fresh garlic, some onions, uh, this is a yellow onion, and his, this is a red onion, and tap of sugar if needed, and some uh, chicken bouillon. And these are all my ingredients, salt and pepper, I think I said all of that. Okay, I'll be getting back with you all. Okay, what I'm gonna start with is my ham hocks. And I'm gonna put, some, you know, they clean. All this is clean. All my ingredients are clean. I did it off camera. I'm gonna let these, I'm gonna put some water in here. And what this water is for, it's the boil. I'm going to let it boil for about uh, 10 minutes, 5 or 10 minutes, so it can come to a complete boil and get all that stuff off of it. You know, you don't want to put this in your pot because once I clean this off, I'm going to put water in here again and let it boil for about a good uh, about a good 30 minutes to make it tender for the uh, string beans. So I'm going to let this boil, and when it, once it comes to a boil, I'm going to throw all this nasty water off and start with some fresh water. So I'm going to let this boil for about... A good 10 minutes to come to a boil. Okay, and then I'll get back with you all and show you the other things that I'll be doing. Okay, then I'm going to take these ham hocks out of this water. They got all the stuff out of the water. wasn't that bad because these ham hocks were pretty clean. I cleaned them. I'm going to put them in this pot. And uh, the reason I'm putting them in here, I'm going to let them get a little tender because it takes uh, ham hocks longer to you know, to get done, then it takes the green bean to do. So I'm gonna put them over here, put some water in this pot, and let these boil again till they get tender. I'm gonna let them boil till they get a little tender. And then once they get, while they're getting tender, I'm gonna take them off. I'm gonna cut these green beans up. See these green beans here? I'm gonna take them and cut them like this. Cut the ends off of them. And I'm gonna have them about this size, about this size. You know, you when you buy them in a can or you see them frozen, this I'm gonna cut them off and just taking them, cutting them while that, while that skin soft. And I'm also gonna take my potatoes and I'm gonna cut them, I'm gonna peel them a little bit like this right here. Just take some of it off. And uh, it's not so big. You're gonna have them bite size, so I'm gonna cut this again. See, like that. And you're gonna put these in the bean, but this is gonna come. I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna explain all of this. So in the meantime, when these get, I'm letting these cook so they can get tender. And once they get tender, and make, when you, uh, once you, when you put, uh, uh, getting them tender, make sure you have enough water to cover your, uh, your uh, string beans because this is the water, the juice from here, we're gonna use to cook the season your green bean with. So make sure when you're cooking them, soften your uh, ham hocks, have enough water to cover your green beans in a pot that you're using. And the reason you're doing it, like I said before, these take a little longer to cook. Now, if you had neck bones, neck bones don't take that long. I went to the store and I couldn't find neck bones. I like neck bones in my green beans too, but I also like ham hocks. So the seasons is kind of similar, but the ham hocks, the only difference between the ham hocks, you have to cook them a little separate, you use the water, that you're cooking them with the pole on your green beans, but with your uh, neck bones, you can put them all on at the same time. So I'll get back with you when these get a little tender. Okay, y'all, you see how my uh, ham hocks are still cooking. I'm trying to tender them because this water here from the season of the meat, I'm gonna pour in here and it's on these green beans. And I'm, first I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna put my green beans in the pot. They cut up, I cut them and I clean them. I cut them about this size. It was, uh, I'm going to pour them in the pot. I'm going to go out and I'm going to try to do it. Sorry about the knife. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my knife. I'm going to start with my onion. Like I said, when you're cooking beans and, I saw them God, when you're cooking beans and all types of beans, you don't have to cut your vegetables small. Just cut them, um, cut, you don't have to cut them big. Yeah, small, I mean, just cut them. Because they're going to cook away. It takes these things about two hours to cook. I'm and I'm cutting my garlic in fresh garlic. I'm cutting it in here. Most time I cut it off camera, but I don't have anything else to do, so I'm gonna put that. And these was three cloves. I had about a, uh, I think I had a pound and a half of green beans. 
about a pound and a half. Okay, now I'm gonna start with my, uh, that's the garlic, now I'm gonna start with my uh, onions. Cut it up. You don't have, like I said, you don't have to do it uh, big. I mean little. Let me leave that back size, you know, big. Cause they gonna cook away. Some people put the whole onion in, I don't do that cause I don't know. So I put a few in there, I drop that, that's okay. Put some of these onions in here. Now I'm gonna put some red onion. These are the only thing I use in mine, I, I use, uh, I use a yellow onion, I use red onion, and garlic. That's about it, and green beans, because you don't want to overpower your green beans. You want them to taste like they used to taste. And kids love green beans, so, and they, that's what, I think kids like that better than any vegetable. And make sure, when you cook them, don't over-season them. See, I put this in, and it's going to season real good. You see the green? That was about a meat of, uh, now that's the onions. I put the yellow and the red, which is going to season it good. And I'm going to take this pepper. See this pepper right here? I'm going to take and put a little bit in here. It's clean. Cut a little bit in here just to spice it up some. Don't put too much because, like I said, kids like this. Okay, I cut about three pieces off this side. And I'm going to take this right here. See, these are, these are chicken bouillon cubes. Put in it, put uh, one in there. Kind of break it up a little bit. It don't break up anyway. I'm going to put one and a half in there. This season it really good, y'all. So when y'all using it, uh, making your green beans, put some of that in there. And I'm gonna take and put some salt. A little salt, sprinkling some salt. See, I might have to add more, like I say. Now the vegetables, it doesn't matter how much you put in there. It really don't, whatever you, it don't matter how much you put in there. But the salt, you always um, taste your food and then you season it because once you oversold something, you can't do nothing with it. You just can't do anything with it. So I got that in there. And the next thing I'm gonna do, see in this boiling water right here, I'm gonna take my ham hocks, put them on top of here. This is three, I'm put it on top. You see how soft they are? And the purpose you're doing that, because like I say, the ham to take the hammer hocks a little longer than the beans to cook. So you let them cook and give them a tender. And the water from your ham hocks, you're gonna pour it right in here. Be careful though, cut this off. And when you're pouring the water, pour on the side so you don't disturb your season. Just pour it on the side until you pour it on the side. See, I'm pouring it in here. Just pour it on the side so it won't upset your seasoning. I'm pouring this water. You're gonna get about half, uh, about half full. You can still see. Because you right now you're trying to cook your green beans. Okay. And that's the water I got. See how much water I got in there, y'all look. And see all my season is down in there. And I put a little bit, I'm gonna put a little bit of season on the, on the meat, just a little bit on that. Just on the meat. And I put some salt here. Just a little bit on the meat and stuff. And once these cook, this is going to take these green beans, like I said, about two hours to cook all together. About two hours. And once, within about 30 minutes of the cooking time, I got about 30 minutes left, I'm going to take these potatoes. Like I said, these were rose potatoes. I'm going to put, um, put them in there and let them finish cooking. But right now, I'm going to cut this on. I'm going to cut it on high to start the boil. Put the top on here and let it begin to boil. See, you, in green beans, you don't want to put too much water. You see how much water I got in there? The, the, the um, ham hocks, they're going to soften up and they're going to go down. But you don't need a lot of water in green beans because it take away the seasoning from me when you put a lot of water in there. So I'm going to get back with you all. I'm going to let this cook for about, like I said, I'm going to let it cook until it start boiling. Once it start boiling, I'm going to see how much water I need to go in there. Most likely, not too much. Like I say, this water should... Uh, cook. The, the water that I put in there should be able to cook the green beans. You might not have to add too much more. So let these cook for, until they start to boil. Once they start to boil, you cut your stove down. I got it on high. And then you're going to let them cook slowly for about an hour and a half. A good maybe two hours. Okay then. I'll get back with you all when it start boiling. I'll show you that technique. Okay y'all. They've been boiling for a while. See I didn't add no more water. You know, I had the water been boiling for about a good 30 minutes. They're almost ready to see how they're looking. You let them just cook. And those, you see how I put those big vegetables in there? See how they uh, disappear? I told you, you don't have to cut. Don't never waste your time cutting them up. And this is about all the water you want. And these, this water, 
the water's in there. I also will cook these potatoes too, because like I said, you never seen uh, green beans and potatoes swimming in water. You don't like that. So you don't try to put too much in there. Just cover it, have the meat almost covered, and you, once you put it in there, and it'll cook. You don't need too much. You don't need to add no more water in here. This water will cook the, uh, the green beans to the finish. Okay, then I just wanted to let you see how it was boiling. I'm going to get back with you. I got probably a good, uh, let me see, I'm going to taste one of these green beans inside it. Taste, let's see. Hmm. That's all good. Put a little bit more salt in, just a little bit. Not much, and you always want to test the salt. I don't even like this coming out. But that's okay. I'll get, I'll get something else on that because I don't want to put too much in there. I'm going to put a little pepper in there. And the seasons is pretty good. And some people do this right here, and you probably taste it, and you probably don't believe it, but it's true. You know, when you taste green beans, the kids like it because it has that little sweetness in it. Just a little bit. So I'm going to take and do just like this right here. Not much now, y'all, because I, like I say, just a little bit. Okay, that's a, now that's sugar. Just a little bit. Okay, that's enough. And I'm going to put this top back on it. I taste the green beans. And uh, I said good about 35 minutes on them. I'm going to cook them about another good 30 minutes. And then I'm going to put these potatoes in there. Okay, and I might add a little bit more vegetables in it. If you want to, you can add some, you know, these onions. And I had the onions, a red onions and a yellow onion. You can put a little bit more in there if you want to. The season is down. I think I'm going to do that. I probably do it off camera. I'm gonna put just a little bit more in there, not much, so I can finish cooking the uh, the green beans. I'm gonna add it in here. See how they looking? They're cooking good. It don't take much for green beans now. Okay. Okay, y'all. See how the, uh, the green beans are, uh, have been cooking, and I like I said, I didn't add no more water in there, just the same with water. And see how they? Uh, you can look at here. Pick this ham hock out. See how that's cooking? That's done. And sometimes you can cook your ham hocks a little longer if you want your ham hocks to go all through your meat. A lot of people like that for the ham hocks to go through your meat, but I'm not going to cook. I, I don't like that all the time. I just want to take and just, you know, eat green beans sometimes. But you do need to season it with some type of pork. Or you can use turkey too, pork or turkey, and even chicken if you want to. But, you know, to me, to make the best green beans, you need uh, some kind of pork. That's what we're used to cooking beans with anyway, pork. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take these potatoes. Because see, my green beans, my ham hocks are done enough. My green beans, another good 30. By the time the uh, potatoes cook, the green beans will be ready. I'm going to take my potatoes. I cut them up like you see the size of them. I'm going to lay them on top of these right here. So the steam can go in the potatoes. I'm going to lay them right on top. Then I'm gonna season my potatoes and lay them right on top. I have plenty of potatoes. Some people love potatoes, some people don't. I'm not gonna put too many in here, overpower the green beans. Okay. And I'm gonna take a little of this butter and just cut on top of the uh, the, the uh, green bean just a little bit. You don't want too much in there. I just wanna season a little bit. Just cut a little bit on top of it so you can season it. I'm trying to put them on the potatoes, but sometimes that's impossible. And put them on there, just put it down the potatoes so, so they can season it. And then I'm gonna put some salt and pepper on my potatoes so they can be seasoned as well. And I taste my green beans, it's not too much, uh, it's not too much uh, salt on it, so it's seasoned just right. Like I said, don't add too much salt. You can always, once you cook your food, taste your food and see if you need more salt. You can always. Uh, fix it with salt, but when you put too much salt in there, you can always add salt, but you never, when you, once you put too much in there, most time you're going to ruin your meal. So I'm going to sprinkle some salt on top of these potatoes. And like I said, I season my, uh, I taste my green beans, so I know it's not too much. So I'm going to put a little pepper on here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to let these, I'm going to let these uh, 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 potatoes, I'm going to let them stay in here and season, steam them. I'm kind of steaming them. And once they're at your desired taste, then you are finished with this. So I'm going to put this on here. I'm going to put it right here and let it cook some. Let it cook until the potatoes uh, get done. They'll be ready. Check them, you know, and, you can, and what you can do, then make sure your potatoes are done kind of like, you know, push them down a little bit in the water. See, like that. Because most time I just want them to steam. Push them down a little bit so they can get done. 
Once you taste them, well, you'll be through with this. This is another uh, dinner instead of having greens. Most people cook collard greens or cabbage. For Christmas, just try green beans because it might go further with the kids. And uh, the, some kids do like greens, some of them like cabbage, but I know most kids do love green beans. So put this on your list for Christmas. Okay, now get back with you when the uh, potatoes cook. Okay, everybody, everything is done. Everything is cooked. My ham hocks is good. It's how they falling off the bone. I cooked them, like I said, I cooked them about 30 good minutes before I started. Put enough water in there so I can, I use the water from the ham hocks. I put about 30 minutes cooking so they can tender. I use, I put it in the beans. I put it in the pot for, with the bean, the green beans and the potatoes and my other seasoning. So I'm getting ready to serve this, please. Thank you all for tuning in to Maddie's Kitchen. Make sure you hit that notification bell, subscribe, and share with friends and family. Like I say, this is a dinner that you can cook. That's why I try to get it out for Christmas. That you can cook and you don't have to go through all the trouble uh, picking your green, uh, greens and stuff. Although greens are very good. But like this, change it up and cook some green beans, ham hocks, and potatoes for your children. And thank you for tuning in to Maddie's Kitchen.